Welcome to our learning video series for the Recon LiDAR systems. My name is Gilbert and I'm the product manager here at Phoenix. It's my pleasure to walk you through the Recon workflow from start to finish. All great deliverables start with a well-planned mission. In this video, we're going to be going over the mission planning portion of our workflow. Today, we're going to dive into the Phoenix Flight Planner, create our very own UAV mission, and then export this to the DJI M300 aircraft. Mission planning is not a complex process, but does require attention to detail. The workflow we go over today is certainly not the only way to plan missions on the M300. There are many applications and workflows that will allow you to create missions of your own. We encourage you to experiment and find the best solution for you and your team. Before we get started, you're gonna to need to log into your Phoenix LiDAR account. You can access the flight planner from the client link section of our website. If for some reason you can't access the flight planner, please, Contact our support team. That's support at phoenixlider.com. Let's get started. Open up your favorite browser and let's navigate to flightplanner.phoenixlider.com. If you're already signed in, it should just pop open and you can see the UI along the left and the earth visualized on the right. First thing we need to do is find our mission location. Our goal for today is to set up a mission at our local testing site. To help me, I'm just gonna quickly type in the name of the city into the search bar on the top left. To begin planning the mission, left click anywhere to create a point that will become the border to our area of interest. Once you left click at least three times, the area of interest will populate. If you want to move the point, you can drag it around with left click or delete it with right click. Next, we need to choose our mission type. By selecting what kind of mission we want the UAV to run, it will be programmed to fly in a specific pattern over your area of interest. We recommend single mapping grid with a perpendicular flight line. This does a great job of maximizing efficiency and giving you good coverage and solid confidence going into post-processing. Once you select mission type, it's time to hit calculate flight plan under the LiDAR sensor tab. Finally, before we are ready to export our KML file, we must set important parameters. Open up the Flight Parameters tab. From here, you have many options that can be changed to affect the flight plan. Our main focus will be on altitude, ladder field of view, and area of interest buffer. We want to plan our mission at 60 meters AGL, so we will set the altitude to 60 meters. The ladder payload we plan to use is the Recon A. This payload has a camera and a ladder system, both with distinct FOV values. With all of our products, the most important aspect when it comes to mission planning for a specific payload is li the limiting FOV. In the case of the Recon A, the LiDAR sensor and camera have the same FOV. If we were using a 360 degree LiDAR sensor and a 70 degree camera, then we would have to select the 70 degree for our FOV. Your FOV selection should always be limited by the smallest FOV between the LiDAR and the camera. I'm gonna select the 70 degree FOV for our flight plan because that is the FOV of both my camera and my LiDAR. Last, we jump into the AOI buffer setting. We're gonna set this to 20 meters. This should allow for aircraft breathing room to turn around and prepare for the next flight line. You should see the effect on the mission in real time. That's it for settings. We're now ready to export a KML file. Select Download Trajectory Only button from the flight toolbox. This will bring up a dialog that you can select several different export options. This time we'll be using the DJI GS Pro export profile. Give a name to your KML file and export it to your micro SD card. Now we're gonna import this new KML file into our DJI smart controller. Eject your micro SD card from your PC and we're going to switch over to our controller now to show you the final steps. Once your micro SD card is inserted in the smart controller, open up the DJI flight app and navigate to the mission flight section. Here is where we will import our mission from the micro SD card. Select KML import from this screen, then choose the waypoint mission option. Now select your external micro SD card and navigate to the folder where you previously exported your KML file. From here, open up the KML file and it should appear on the mission screen. Tap it once to open the mission. 
From the screen, we have the option to manually edit our mission and change plenty of parameters. Today, we're only gonna adjust a few things to make sure our mission goes as smoothly as possible. Tap on the edit button on the left of the screen to start editing your mission. A dialog will appear on the right side of the screen. We need to specify which aircraft we will be using. From this home screen, change the dropdown for select aircraft to the Matrice 300 RTK. Now, let's head down to the route page. From here, we can scroll down slightly and find the waypoint type dropdown menu. In this dropdown, select the coordinated turn skips waypoint option. Since we planned for a nice 20 meter buffer to our area of interest, we can use this option to start our turns before the waypoint is reached. This should help your aircraft turn gently around for the next flight line pass. Turning gently is important for the INS so it can maintain a good trajectory. Jerky turns and rapid movements of your UAV can be later seen in your trajectory graph while we post-process the data. You must fly two patterns before and after your planned mission. The system requires a high velocity trajectory of four meters a second. Flying the drone at four meters a second with a constant heading and altitude for at least five seconds will satisfy this alignment. After your kinematic alignment, we recommend flying the drone in a figure eight pattern at least once before starting your mission. After the mission ends, it's important to fly these maneuvers again in the opposite order. This is because of the way Inertial Explorer processes trajectory information, both forward and backward in time. If we mess up one maneuver at the start, we can rely on final set of alignment maneuvers after the mission ends. The final step here is to select the save button on the left side of the screen. Once saved, we're ready to take this out and fly our mission. Of course, we can always head back to this screen if we need to make adjustments, and these missions can be saved both in your DJI smart controller and online with the Phoenix Flight Planner. From this screen, all we need to do to get flying is press the play button, but we'll save that for another video. Thanks for joining us for the mission planning portion of our recon learning video series. Please feel free to contact Phoenix support if you get stuck or just need help along your way. You also have access to this entire video series to help refresh you on any part of the workflow from mission planning all the way to final point cloud export. It's been a pleasure. This is Gilbert, signing off.